Hello, fellow administrators. Welcome to One More Guide. This time, we'll be talking about Jiming. In our culture, Jiming is the representation of the celestial beast, Xuan Wu, one of the four cardinal protectors, and is also responsible to bring longevity, endurance, and happiness. In Ether Gazer's lore, Jiming is one of the four members of the Sifang Yuan from Tian Yuan's faction. Despite her harsh creation, she's often called as a genius, and it's possible to be the strongest member after Geng Chen. Now, let's work. Jiming is the latest water type modifier from Tianyuan's faction. In terms of strength, she can rival Izanami, but in this game, we don't work solely with strength. She has three ether codes, but only two are qualified to be used. Blue Code is an attempt to make Jiming a small buffer unit for water teams. However, the best options are either red and yellow codes. You can use her red code as her usual damage build method for combat in long battles, while yellow code is mainly used for daily operations and short battles. Now, take a look at her UI design and as well combat demonstration. Now, before I proceed, you can check any time through the video's description, all timestamps if you want to skip some detailed explanations, because as you can see, this video is longer than the usual guides I do. Also, I do recommend that you watch this video while reading her skill 3 description and her ether codes. Jiming is really strong despite her long structure of combo rotation. This long structure is mainly because her combos requires that you completely works with three areas, Divine Grace Bar, to activate the damage buffs. Her Beidou, to activate her skill 3 mechanism of transition to activate all alternate skills to reach her nuke. And at same time, keep dealing damage while doing all of this. You have to repeat this two times before finally releasing the nuke. Also, if you find the combo rotation complicated or too long, you can use the Warp Divine Sense as a method to shorten the use of basic attacks. However, now, we need to take observation of a situation that happens all times through multiple games. But in Ether Gazer, it's only with Ji Ming that this problem becomes obvious. As many of you know, when Ji Ming got released in main server, I said that she wasn't suited for mobile games. The reason is as it's explained below. But if you just don't have patience to read all of this, I can just try to summarize. The biggest problem with Ji Ming's gameplay in summary is, despite being strong, all of her damage is behind Divine Grace's bar, Beidou's bar, two cycles of combo, until she finally manages to reach her nuke on skill three and long animations that you need to cancel in right time. Because if you don't cancel correctly, you end up affecting the combo and need to repeat the cycle again. However, you can partially fix this problem by highly investing on her, like increasing her Sig Key's rank, increasing her character rank, investing as well on Gang or Ling, 
or you can even consider to play the game in a machine that can read above 60 FPS. But this last option is more a suggestion for when the PC client gets released. With 2S rank in her SIG key at rank 3, and as well with a huge investment on Tianyuan's team, and if you manage to correctly perform all of her cancels, you can reach around 20 seconds and even less time depending the investment, such as 14 seconds. But for this low time, you would need a full Omega team with perfect enchants and SIG key at rank 7. In the demonstration, you can check how long it's each animation of her skills without any cancel, and as well notice that Geng's damage takes a big participation in affecting both the battle and Ji Ming's combat. After all this explanation, this brings us to decide when to use Ji Ming. If you already own a 3S rank Jin Wu, or even Omega rank, you may consider to stick with her, but if you didn't like Jin Wu gameplay and prefer something more complex or technical, you can consider Ji Ming. Regarding her keys, or functors if you prefer, Ji Ming absolutely requires her SIG key as explained below. For sigils, use the new water sigil, Xuan Wu, and Acheron. If you find too tiresome her rotations, you may consider Philo, but I don't recommend the use because her SIG key already helps with her DG bar, and as well because Acheron fits her structure completely. For warps and enchants, you should consider the options listed below, but remember that you may change her warp setup according to her character's rank, and pay attention to her enchant suggestions if you have gang. In team compositions, I already showed and demonstrated that her best team is Geng and Ling. Geng will help a lot to shorten the battle time and the full operation of her combo, because thanks to Geng, their duo ult becomes part of Ji Ming's combo sequence allowing a fast second execution of her skill 3, and as well giving damage buff. Ling's participation is also extremely necessary, because Ji Ming can suffer interrupts from enemy attacks while she's performing combos, and as well, because while Ji Ming's skill 3 is in action, you can safely use another character's ult. You can also instead, replace the duo ult of Ji and Geng for Ling and Geng, since this technically means more damage, because Ling's single ult doesn't deal damage. You may try, if you want, to use Ji Ming with other water units, such as Poseidon and S. Leviathan, but I still recommend you to keep her with Geng. That's all for now, dear administrators. I hope to see you in the next guide. Until next time!